Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to go over the best strategy for winning a 1v2 in Rocket League. First, I want everyone to know there is a 100 key giveaway going on in the YouTube description down below. If you ever want to get your replay analyzed by yours truly, you may join the Discord link in the description below and request it. Now let's get back to the strategy, as this strategy would also work anytime you're down a player in almost any playlist. Sometimes your teammate goes AFK or he disconnects because he thinks the game is lost, even though you're only down one goal. Well guess what, there is a way to get your shot at winning these 1v2s, and it's pretty simple. Sometimes it's even easier than winning a regular 2v2 match, as the opposing team tends to be overconfident and run a cocky offensive playstyle that can lead to many opportunities for you. Let's talk about the best strategy to win that 1v2 we've all been in. Firstly, realize that you're not a mechanical god, because sadly, you're probably just not going to 1v2 these guys with your basic strategy and insane mechanics. Sadly, you're a muggle and you probably don't have that wizard-like mechanics you may one day hope to have. So take your advantage of the 1v2 situation and make the opposing team bow down to you. Step 1. Be smart, patient, and fast. This does not mean you need to play fast offense every time you get the chance for an offensive opportunity. It is 100% okay to attempt a dribble. As long as you don't take yourself out of the play, the offensive play is great. 1v2s are obviously very similar to 1v1s, as you need to make sure you never put yourself out of position that won't give you time to recover back to your net. You also need to make sure you only challenge the ball when you will either A. Win your challenge B. They would have scored if you didn't challenge C. You are able to read their next move. Step 2. Let them play dumb. You need to make sure you are not challenging their stupid attempts at freestyling. Focus on where the ball will land if they miss or even mess up. This style of letting them shoot and being ready for their mistake will let you back into the game much easier than having to try in 1v2 with the ball as they will be ready for you. Take advantage of their open nets as in 1v2s there are often open nets available for both teams. Waiting on their missed clears, missed shots, and missed passes are always ways you can take advantage of them, as they will now be in that 1v1 situation. Step 3. Boost. One of the hardest parts of 1v2ing any two players is the amount of boost that they will be able to freely steal from your corner. You most likely won't get to pick up much big boost pads and will have to settle for small pads. This means you need to take advantage of the small boost pads respawn timers, as they respawn about every 4 seconds. They are going to be your only source of boost for that entire game. I will now be going over a 1v2 game I just played and trying to explain what I did right and what they did wrong. Alright guys, so for this game I jumped in, got a smurf account, or my girlfriend's account on the other, way, uh, other hand. And we got her on here um, playing as Mosey. She's not actually going to be moving. Uh, we're going to try to s play a 1v2 here. I got a bad challenge there. Um, but we are going to try to play this as a 1v2. He probably should have scored that. Um, and I guess I might have faked him there. But like I said, we, we're going to try to play this as a 1v2. Uh, see if our strategy kind of works in this situation. Um, she won't be playing or actually moving her car at all. So uh, I just have her account sitting there on a laptop beside me. Um, as they're kind of messing around, it seems like, under the net... They play a little bit more cocky, as you can tell, as, like, they just really don't have much of a fear of me scoring. Uh, this is casual, so the the rank difference might be a little bit different uh, here than an actual ranked game. Um, but, yeah, so you did see, as we get a good demo there to make sure he doesn't get a shot, uh, as you did see some gameplay um, before this one about... Uh, me trying to do a 1v2 and I think I was up full row those guys were a little bit worse than these guys these guys have a little bit more understanding of you know how to play the game better so uh, looks like Mosey got bumped there uh, I tried to get a flick there very dangerous flick I didn't get very high um, I'm taking control right here and yeah I have nothing here so I'm just kind of going for a pinch to keep middle uh, keep it away from them uh, just basically maintaining control like you do in ones uh, is very important in a 2v1 you're basically playing a 1v1, uh, but with more punishment. So you need to really kind of be more safe uh, and smarter with every decision you make. As we get a good flick there, and I think I can finish it. Uh, no, he's there for the save. See, that's a score, obviously, in ones. Uh, in twos, or 1v2s, it's not going to be always a score. So you got to 
be kind of safe and careful about how you're doing things. Um, right there, I get a good block. Making sure you get blocks on some of those uh, air air challenges. Is if you're going basically for a off the wall kind of play, you need to make sure you're at least in front for a good block. Um, as he gets a pretty good pinch here, this could be dangerous, but we get a good 50. Um, I'm going to take it up the wall as I don't have enough boost probably to shoot. Uh, let's see if we can settle it down, maybe flick. Uh, really bad flick. I didn't get much air on that. We're going to head back now. I think I have time for boost. Um, that could have been very dangerous. I should have went ball over boost there probably. Uh, you have to make some risky plays occasionally to win the 1v2 though, um, like I said. But We get a good block there. Uh, it's all about just kind of predicting what they're doing with the ball in 1v2s. You kind of you kind of have to be at an advantage uh, skill-wise to take the W, but most of the time you're not at your maximum potential where you're at in your rank. Um, so right now this, I mean, I'm like what, champ two, champ one. I've been a high champ three in doubles. So really uh, you're never at your like maximum rank. So you should be able to always, um, that should have been a goal right there, but you should always basically be able to win a 1v2 if you play correctly, because you probably aren't at your peak. If you're at your peak, it might be a lot rougher than uh, just kind of in your mid uh, where you usually sit in rank. Um, but right here I went boost and they're kind of letting me get big boost pads. Um, Beware, this doesn't always happen. You don't always get boost pads. Uh, he kind of let me do a quick shot there. He's kind of laid back in the back of the goal. Uh, I got pretty lucky with this positioning and took advantage of it. Uh, with these 50s in the middle, I kind of just don't tend to do any kind of kickoff, trying to keep it to a side um, to where there's no problems. And that's just, I mean, that's that's a rookie, rookie mistake. Of, I think I see plat players or goal players do that all the time. They'll come up for the ball. And they'll just play it off the wall to themselves. I kind of went for boost still on that situation where I got a rough spawn. Um, I don't know what the uh, exact strategy should be there. Uh, it's kind of up to what you're comfortable with on the kickoffs. Um, but right here, they're kind of giving me a shot at a dribble. And I get denied. And this could be a goal. I really messed that up. It looks like this guy messed it up though. So we might be okay. I'll cut in here, get a block. Uh, come back around. Might be able to get a touch there. If he doesn't go for this ball, I'm going to go for a shot. Uh, yeah, so he had the block on the shot, which is very dangerous. This could be yet another goal. <clears throat> wow. And he, okay, so we're getting literally very lucky on, on their shots. Um, they've had a couple that could have probably scored. <clears throat> and right there, I just took it slow. I knew I had the better 50 if I just waited. Uh, we got a fake there, so now it's a one-on-one -on -one situation that we always look for. And I get a nice flick um, and a push-up to the front and that's a pretty decent goal uh, taking advantage of those 1v2s is very big obviously uh, our 1v1s in 1v2 situations uh, are very big uh, when you get a 1v1 situation you need to make sure you're securing a goal as you don't really get too many 1v1 situations in the 2v1 uh, right there <clears throat> I want to go back and show you guys what I was thinking here so right here I was thinking he had this hit uh, I was originally going with the plan I kind of told you guys about how you want to wait for the ball to come off, wait for the miss, because uh, they will be like, you know, kind of going for crazier shots or riskier shots or riskier touches. So I kind of thought he was going to miss this ball and I'd get a free clear and a free shot. Uh, but last second, I bailed and I thought he had the shot um, and it turns out he didn't. So that's just going from a free goal for me to uh, them still having possession for a second. Uh, looks like I'm going to go for a ceiling shot here. We are up 3-1 to one with 20 seconds left. Um, should have made that, didn't. Uh, almost get a good shot there. Couldn't come down with it, though. We're going to come back, challenge that ball. No reason not to. We got 10 seconds left, and we can go back and get our boost for free. And he kind of just pops the ball to nowhere. And I'm just going to play this probably to the side or something. Oh, and I just straight up missed. But overall, that kind of shows you the strategy you should probably take going into a 1v2. Uh, that's back-to-back -back 1v2 wins. Obviously, this is casuals, and I probably have a little bit better mechanics and um, understanding of the game than some of these casual guys, but just knowing the strategy will... <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Just knowing the strategy overall will probably help you a lot in the future. So I hope this, guys, uh, I hope this helped you guys. Um, I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Uh, probably going to be going over some Splice and Cloud9 gameplay, as that is what you guys pulled to vote and uh, do. Appreciate you guys coming out here to watch this video today, and I'll see you guys next time.